Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your reading and happy Taurus season. Happy birthday. So, unlike the other months where we've looked at the astrology together and then gone through it, I thought we would go very Taurus and go on our feelings. First three cards out, nine of pentacles, ten of wands, eight of pentacles. Your ability to walk down a path, get something done, make it a long-term career or long-term goal depends solely on how you feel about yourself. Your season is about recognizing, maintaining, and working towards your worth. How interesting. How do you feel? Nine of Pentacles, pretty good. Which prompts you, Ten of Wands, to walk down a very profitable road. Taurus loves that. Eight of Pentacles, it requires work, but work that you're willing to do. You're not one to be shy of work anyway. It's really just about whether or not you feel it. And if it has to do with you and what you love, you feel it. This is also a time where you have the wherewithal, the time, the space to do what you love aside from whatever you've had to do so far. Let's not pretend that the world hasn't changed. Let's not pretend that we don't all have a lot of time on our hands. That's part of why I'm not using the astrology. I just want to tap in to whatever it is that you are collectively feeling. And right now, unlike most people who may be climbing the walls, Taurus sees opportunity, space, peace of mind, time to get done all the things that you like to get done slowly and methodically. Oh. Three of Wands, time to take some risks. No, you can't travel, but there's so many places up here you've been wanting to go. And now you get to go. Hmm, very interesting. Wands and Pentacles, fire and earth. Today is the first day of Taurus season. We are making the heady transition between cardinal fire and fixed earth, and it is not easy. Today in particular is a day of purging emotions, saying all the things that you've been wanting to say, that you've been needing to say, that you just couldn't say, even though you knew you were right. That is perhaps what adds so much to your worth in the next 30 days. Say it and get out. Just leave. Like, it's enough, you know? It's one thing to be open and want love and not to sabotage yourself. It's another thing to take shit for no reason. I'm just saying. So, six of swords. Say the thing, purge the thing, and get out for your own sake. Time to yourself, time to go internal, time to find this lantern. But also, if you've been dealing with a Virgo and you just like have figured out probably today that they are really not worth it, don't waste any more time. Most of us figured it out last month. But you know, y'all be giving people the benefit of the doubt. You say you don't, but you do. You give people a lot of passes. Mainly because people make you feel bad and make you feel like they're giving you pass after pass when they're really not. But it's a game that people like to play with Tauruses. Knight of Cups. Does it matter that someone that you've let go of wants to come back into your life? Sure, Venus is going to go retrograde. I guess it matters. But if you say what you need to say, they won't have any hold on you. And that's what we want. We don't want any strings. Now, if you're in a relationship and you're very happy, good. That will just add to your worth. It still means you need to go internally and say what's on your mind. That's the way to maintain that happy relationship. But if for some reason you are not happy, 
if you feel like no matter what you do, you're not being heard, even though at this point you feel like you're making all the sacrifices, it's time to go. And I know, I know, that's easier said than done, but if this month or the next, this season is all about your worth, then it's time to transform, it's time to be reborn. We know that we're gonna have a Scorpio full moon, right? And around that full moon, all the things you're holding on to way too tight that are keeping you from knowing your true value will be illuminated. And you will have to express yourself and let it be known, perhaps just to yourself, but also to others, that you're done. I knew I was gonna do the Taurus reading today and all day today I've had this energy. Like the looks I've been giving people. First of all, stay six feet away from me. <laughs> Five of wands, queen of swords. This is the energy. I'm gonna use my words and it may cause a fight and I don't care because I wanna say what I wanna say and I wanna express myself and there's even a tinge of, I tried to be nice, but y'all keep playing with me, so no and it's empowering because this card here is that rebirth that you want to see during your season it's exactly what you want it's the moon sitting across from you saying okay i see you i see you doing the work here exactly here's exactly where you need to change come on let's do it and taurus is game unlike all the other times Taurus is game. And why is Taurus game? Because you're tired of feeling stuck. If it means that it has to be the tower moment to get unstuck, if it means that the Scorpio full moon has to shine a light on where exactly you are stuck, so be it. Listen, the tower moment is never far. You can have it if you want it. Taurus just tries to save you from it. My hair is doing this kinetic like thing right now it's just like growing and growing and growing so it's time for you to use this throat chakra associated with you remember Taurus is the neck the throat the voice and if that means like I said that you have to cause some uncomfortable moments for people around you well then that's what it means then that's what you need to do because what you can't do is have this season be like every other season where everything is about everybody else. Once a year, it's got to be about you. And it's got to be now. So you have the energy supporting you. You have the moon supporting you. You have this internal you know, self-reflection that's been going on for a while now. You know what you want to say. You're very clear on it. You know what you want. You know what you don't want. And for the first time in a long time, you feel like using that throat chakra. You feel like saying it, even if it may cause a fight. It's like, yeah, okay. You know, if, we, if it really comes down to it, I'm kind, I'm sweet, but I have horns. If you really want to do this, we can do this. Now, some of you mid-month will think, eh, I don't really need to do it. I can be kind. I can just walk away. And then they're going to push you to do it. How are they going to push you to do it? Because they want you to stay stuck. They're not happy unless they get what they want from you and they only get what they want from you if you don't evolve. And as soon as you start evolving, it's gonna become a problem. Yes, this is a theme with you guys, but unlike every other month where you just shrug and deal with it and ha ha ha, now you're like, no, <laughs> no, this is a joke. I'm going to communicate about all the things that you have taken, lied, stolen, be it energy, money, love, time, I wanna let you know, to let them know. I love you. Oh, and happy birthday. Hi Taurus, welcome to the second part of your reading. Oh, okay, it's been a few days since the first part and like always in between the first and second part of your reading I always need a break because no matter what energies come up It takes so much out of me 
And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I just feel like your energy is so strong and it's so heavy. Like fixed earth is like, you know, the earth like falling down on you. That's what it can feel like. And this reading in particular is so solid. It's all about you. There we go. Let's start with that nine of pentacles up there. It's all about you and the road that you want to walk down, what you want to see happen for the next year. Your priorities are very, very clear right now. There is no confusion here. There's no obstacles. It's all just push forward. We go from the Ten of Wands to the Eight of Pentacles to the Three of Wands. It's earth and fire. You have the earth, you have the value, Nine of Pentacles that you need. You have the fire and the direction, Ten of Wands. You have the work ethic and the wherewithal, Eight of Pentacles. And you have what you usually don't have, the ability to take risks, Three of Wands. It's beautiful. Now, what do you need to be able to take those risks safely? You need to get away from anyone who's making you second guess yourself. You need to get away from anyone who's making you or, or criticizing you to the point where they're making you forget who you are. You got to remember that Nine of Pentacles. It's the first card out for a reason. What's the reason? You have to focus on the best parts of yourself. Whoever is taking you away from that, let them go. Another way that you can interpret this is you are seeing the hermit into yourself in a way that makes you lose certain things. And it's beautiful because it's things you need to leave behind anyway. You've been having these moments for the past month or so where you're like, oh, wow, you know, this or that, I don't really need that anymore. That defense mechanism, that reactiveness, I don't need it. So good. If you have a Scorpio trying to come back into your life, it's someone that, and if it's someone you've been hanging on to in your heart for a long time and you've been at war with yourself about, the only way that works is if you stick to your guns, say it how it is, and put yourself first. If you start to put them first, it's going to start all over again. If this is someone coming back from your past and it's not a Scorpio, it's someone who wants to re, you know, have a redo on a relationship, eh. I don't think they're hanging on to you for the right reasons. And the second you start to feel tied down or somehow limited in your larger path by them, let them go. Now, if it's neither of those things and what you're interested in isn't, well, that, that stuff could still be happening. But if what you're interested in is a transformation, if what you want for your season is to be reborn, right? then that makes the most sense to me, okay? That it's not about anybody else, that it's all about you. Then it's very important that we leave behind anything that puts you at odds with yourself. Anything you've been holding on to, it's just keeping your hands full when there's so much more that you could be picking up. And it's keeping your hands full by creating a lot of drama. So, be firm with yourself. Let that stuff go. Express yourself from a centered place. And where is that center? Within you. It's all about you. If you refuse to let this stuff go, the universe is going to make you let it go, especially by that full moon. We don't want that. We want to get unstuck, but this is not a pleasant way to get unstuck. I would much rather that you do it yourself so by the time you get to the full moon and the hangman, you're actually just kind of, you know, yeah, yeah, I know. Instead of, oh my God, everything is falling down around me. What was I doing? What was I thinking? I thought I could, here's the one thing that you might try to do. You might try to do everything else and just kind of not throw away what you should. And if you do that, by the end of the season, the universe is going to make you throw it away. And when the universe makes you throw it away, it is not pleasant. Just ask these two people. So if you're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer and you feel stuck, you may feel stuck because, to be perfectly honest, they're lying to you. And they're lying to you in a way that's keeping you stuck. In that case, see second line. In that case, we want to walk away. 
Anything right now that does not work like a well-oiled machine, anything that you cannot be completely clear and cannot communicate clearly about, you need to let it go. Any situation that makes you feel like you are getting the crumbs instead of being the victor, you need to let it go. This is the season where we only hang on to the stuff that exalts us. Everything else can go. That works perfectly. That can stay. Everything else can be addressed and forgotten. But we'll look at that in the extended right now. All right, Taurus, love you. See you in the extended in a minute. Uh, personal readings. A recorded reading sent directly to you is the first link in the info box below. Chattelize readings are done on Wednesdays. Those are one-on-one -on -one live video chat readings. That link is below too. And the link to the extended is below. You can get it instant in your inbox or you can get it through Vimeo. See you in a second. Love you.